sports fans. So round two with the mites. Fuck the mites. Oh my goodness, the mites. So, I don't know. Monty's been out for, what time did I get home? 3.30, it's 25 minutes to seven now. So started this process at 25 minutes to, to I started this process at 3.15, 3.15 actually. That's when all the substrate was taken out. Monty was treated with the, with the reptile spray, kept him in the in a tub for 30 minutes. Um, got everything out, um, took all the substrate out then sprayed it with uh, Preventamite. Um, panicked myself stupid because the Preventamite, I, I didn't leave the substrate in, I took it out and it was taking ages to disappear and I called um, Pro Products and they scared me and said, you know, this is you, you're gonna have to let it air for a day and whatnot. Anyway, what ended up what I ended up doing was I got one of those tornado fans. I um very cleverly, cleverly, even even for me, an English person, kind of set the fan up with the glass in place but half open, so it was going in one end and coming out the other. Um, so creating a really fast airflow through the cage, and within like an hour, it had gone. Um, I had poor Monty in the Home Depot um, bucket um, whilst I was doing that. Um, obviously I didn't have any of this water anywhere near anything so no one panic. I bought him another little hide actually so he, he gets, he's still, I guess he's still maybe a little bit too small for this tank, I don't know. But anyway, I bought a new hide so now he has billions of hides right that he can go into. I haven't put the um the flat the, the the like the vegetation the fake vegetation back in here, just because it'll knock it over. There's no point until I get the stuff substrate back in there, making it look nice and pretty. This is just this is <coughs> termite termite mode. So I'm hoping, for, I mean, really hoping that, that everything works out and I'm not going to kill Monty. I've had I had it airing for two hours with the fan running through it. There was it didn't smell of anything. The heat's coming back up now. Um, he's having an explore. He's he's had that, like I say, he's had the um, the the stuff on there, the uh, the reptile spray. He had a little dip in his water. And, I mean, not not enough not enough to get anything off. It'll come off on this on this paper towel, actually, the preventer might stuff all of it. But um, he'll he'll go in his water later, and uh, then I'll I'll change that tomorrow, and then I then I'll put it back in there. Um, but you can see he's nice slow flicky tongue he's it's the most chilled out snake ever it doesn't he lets me do anything to him and i don't i, I don't do anything to him I, I um i leave him alone pretty much all the time i leave him alone there's there's no there's no need to get him out and handle him and, and whatnot all the time i know people like doing that but you know he doesn't like it like you read the books and what what people say so there's really no need i just like to watch him doing what he kind of does naturally I guess, but he's he's a donut. He's a bit of a donut. Look at him, but he's, he's happy. I, I didn't weigh him today. I didn't want to stress him any more. He's been in a tub, been sprayed. Um, he's been in a bloody um, Home Depot bucket. He's been cold. He was freezing when I got him out of the bucket, even though I had um, the the heater going on to him. And and this is normal now. This is what he does when when you've rearranged everything in his tank. He's you know for, as far as he's concerned, it's it's brand new. So um, I do need to get some bigger food for him because um, I mean he's not under it, it, you know you can't see his spine or anything like that. He's not emaciated or anything like that. But he does need to start eating bigger food than um, adult mice and. Uh, there's a place down in Jersey City that I'm, I'm going to go to on, on Saturday and hopefully get some weaned rats. So there you go. He's um, he's uh, that's Monty. I know a couple of people wanted an update on Monty. I don't see any mites on the uh, on the on the paper towel yet. Normal procedure before when I when I had this before. Um, and it's my fault that I'm going through this again because I, I didn't I didn't do the whole 30 days. I, I thought that the mites were gone. But anyway, you tend to see them popping up on the uh, on the on the white paper towel, and you can you can I just squish them. And then next week I'll uh, I'll perform this process again. Um, 
But yeah, he's uh isn't he gorgeous? Okay. Oh, for anybody who wants to see inside the tank, so and, and how a T8 goes over a radiant panel, there you go, that's the size of the radiant panel I've got in this tank. Pretty much covers uh half of the tank. And I have the probe sitting there on I, even when I have substrate in there, I have the probe sitting there. Um Basically, I have it under the substrate, and I, and I have that piece of ornament on top of the substrate on top of there. It stays at that point under the under the um, radiant heat panel, and it pretty much keeps it at ninety degrees at that point on the floor. And then, as I come along the tank, and I'm not going to measure it now and show you. you just have to take my word. I've, I've, the, the actual thermometers are out in the front yard, still airing. I didn't. I left them in there. Obviously, I didn't want any bugs to be in them. But I'm, I'm going to let them air a lot longer. But as you come along the tank, here is um, well, that's his favourite hide. That one there. It's at, it's 79 inside, 81 right outside, and then right along this end, um, it normally goes down to about um, 79, 78 degrees right down this cold end. Um, very rarely comes down there. His, his normal place is there very rarely moves from there of a night he'll come and sit up here on the um on the log on the branch and he'll sit there for a couple of hours and warm up never really seen him going that high he's been there a couple of times um and he, he tends to bathe in the big water bowl and drink out of this one and when there's substrate in here he he was burying underneath but i think that was because he had mites and he thought that i, I don't know what goes through his tiny little brain but He's um he's a character, that's for sure. Look at him. He is a character. But yeah, if anyone can give me advice on the size of food, like I say, I I think I think his neck is tiny, I can't, but you know, his body is um you can see his body there. I think he should be on weaned rats now. He was 200 and something grams when I when I weighed him last. I did, like I say, I didn't weigh him today because I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to uh, stress him out any more than uh, than needed. What the hell are you doing? He does this when uh, when you put him in a new cage, uh, or, or he's got new furniture, or he rearranged everything. I think they just try everything they can to get out. Look at him. Donut. Anyway, there you go. That's an update on Monty. And uh, as you can see, he's, uh, he's fighting fit. Maybe open this and see if he'll... Uh... Obviously, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want a camera shoved in his face, but there he is. Bless him. Say hi, Monty, to everyone. Flick, flick, flick. Flick, flick, flick. Flick, flick, flick. Anyway, let's leave him alone. He's been stressed out. I'm going to turn the light out now and let him go.